And happy Friday. It is happy Friday. Happy woop, Friday. Woop, woop, woop. Um, and it is also Thank Craft It's Friday. Um, I am Stacey. Um, I'm sure you've seen me before, but Hi, if Stacey. not. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> um, I am a designer here at Hunky Dory Crafts and joining me today, she's already got a short on for a holiday. It is the lovely, the gorgeous, the very talented Natalie Muspratt. I wish I had my holiday shorts on. <laughs> Apparently it's going to rain, but I am very excited. Um, this is my last Facebook Live for just over a week. Um, so it's a little bit sad actually, I am going to miss it. Um, but I'm getting a well-deserved rest. But I'm here to join you on this fantastic Friday because we have a great product to show you, um, which I'm super excited about, super excited. Okay, so we'll get straight into it, the reminders. So reminders for today, you have the, have you got your free gift yet? Your club free gift, which is the miracle of Christmas. Um, this launched, was it Wednesday? Yes. That we, we looked through this. Um, and I believe it's already selling, uh, like it's already flying out. Oh yeah, the amount of like, calls that we hear from customer services. Yeah. and It's flying out. So make sure that you get yours as soon as possible. 
Um, and a final reminder um, of the pick of the week this week is our Forever Florals Sunflower Collection. So make sure you get that. Um, and I think that's it for reminders, unless you've got anything now. No. No? No. Um, so we'll get straight into it with our Wise and Beautiful collection. It's a Moonstone collection. Um, and have we got VT or have we got... Uh, a show plan. Okay. Let's go to the show plan. I'm just getting ahead. Um, so we've got the Wise and Beautiful collection to look at. I'm just really excited to get into it, you know. I know, it's so good. We've got Natalie's Super Demos. We've then got the Wise and Beautiful card inspiration. We have the Win It Weekly winners, um, which I will go through that question in a second. And we have the very exciting Spin the Wheel. Do you know what, Stace? I'm praying, praying that we get the prize roll over on our Spin the Wheel today. I will be so excited I'll if we get I'll be so happy if I will happens. be so, so excited. Okay, so if I actually look at the cards that I've been given rather than getting really excited for the product. <laughs> um, so the... Win it weekly. 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 So let's just quickly move one of these out of the way. Um, I'll put it down here. Okay, win it weekly. So if you would like to win our glue gun, hot glue gun, and a pack of 12 glue sticks, um, all you need to do is answer this question. What is the tallest sunflower on record? Is it A, 15 feet? Is it B, 25 feet? Or is it C, 30 feet? I have absolutely no idea. So please let me know on the comments as soon as possible. Um, do they need to like and share or is it just, just comment? Like, share and comment. Okay, All three. cool. So like, share and comment for your chance to win that. And... I think that's it. Yeah, yeah that's it. Let's go, let's go to the show VT. Roll it. Absolutely divine cards. Divine. Okay, absolutely beautiful cards on there. Um, I will try and calm down a little bit. I'm very excited because it's Friday and I it's love Friday. this collection. We're excited because we've ordered our lunch. Yes, we have. Ordered our cheeky Friday lunch. We have. Um, have you ordered? We've ordered McDonald's. <gasps> yeah. Uh, which is really, it's, it's filled me with a lot of joy. I'll tell you why. I had a falafel salad. A falafel <laughs> salad. So to go from a falafel salad to a double cheeseburger large meal. I'm so I do like excited. a falafel sal salad though. I love a falafel salad. I've yeah, not had one for Friday. ages. However, I have not had a Mackey's since Is about... Is this going to be your first one? Yeah, because I've not had one since about Feb. Stacey. Um, so I'm very excited. Oh, wow. Yeah. Very. Back to products. Yes. Um, and <laughs> to calm down a little bit. Um, wise and beautiful collection. So this is absolutely stunning. Natalie launched this um, the other day on Create and Craft. Um, you have the four moonstone die sets, all with the floral theme. Um, you've got an owl in each die set, and you also have a coordinating paper pad, which is five by five. Um, and you simply place your die in the center of your pad and then um, it will cut in all that detail, all the um, like lacy filigree patterns in there. Mm -hmm. So you can either cut out the, um, the full panel, because you have the dies to do that, or you can just cut straight into the card blank um, to create these stunning apertures. And then you also get the sentiments as well in each die set. So I think we're going to go straight into the demos before we are. Uh, Natalie has already prepared some lovely demos. So prepared today. 
a lot more prepared than usual. Um, but yeah, we're going to get straight into it, show you how um, quick, easy and simple these are to use. I'm just going to get some bits out of here because I haven't cleaned it. So there's just a couple of pieces still stuck in my die. Um, so I have used, I'm using a piece from the paper pad here. The paper pad is absolutely stunning. Um, so I have this beautiful imagery here. I really like how this is a wreath shape as well. Um, it's so pretty. And like you say, there's owls throughout all the collection and floral elements, but they're all completely different. Let's get some low tech tape for this. So what I'm going to do is with your die set, you get three dies. So you get the main cutting die, the, which is a cut in die, by the way, you get the um, outside edge, which allows you to cut these out as panels um, and then you get a sentiment in each. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my die, I'm going to place it over my paper pad and I'm going to just line it up um, with the edge of my um, paper pad edges. So you want to make sure that it's nice and central which will be e easily able to do. Um, there's no problem at all in that. So I'm taking some low tack tape and this bit is essential. You want to make sure that your tape is on every single side. So we're going to make sure it's really secure because you don't want this to move because if it moves then it will um, sort of not cut where you want it to which isn't necessarily that bad because the way that these dies work is that they um, sort of cut into the paper card to create like an accent foiling around the edges um, but you want it to be as close as possible to that image so when it's nice and central then we can run it through our machine oh, I love it when you can hear it just hitting across Leave it up on back. Yes! <laughs> I tried so hard to do that last, the last couple of shows and I just broke it. It just wouldn't go on, it wouldn't stop. I had to take the power lead out. Um, so while that's going through, um, I do have a favour to ask of everybody in the comments. Next week, um, I have been planning to do the box <gasps> making challenge. Yes, you um, have. So I still need to fully work out how to make a box first but I also am really competitive and want to beat Dan so if you have any tips of how you think that we could beat Dan please let me know. You know what as well Stacey my first tip would be bring in your own scoreboard yeah because he will come in here and he will take all the bits out of the scoreboard so you'll get to your demo <laughs> and you won't have the score tool in the actual scoreboard because he will have taken it out because he did do that on mine and the scoreboard was down here and I was like hmm there's no there's no score tool in here so he ended up because obviously if he hadn't have got one he would have looked like a proper meanie he had to get one off the set at the back <laughs> so that's my advice to you bring your own tools well I have got a scoreboard at home okay um, well, you don't I just don't use it home. you can bring, you can use one yeah. that's here I just don't use just it very sure. often so I need to sit down and properly work out a very quick technique. Um, I was thinking that maybe cut into the cut into the card to mm -hmm. cut my thing, but then before I do that, place construction glue so it starts drying. Okay. As I cut. Yeah, you can definitely then I, do that. And then by the time it's sort of going together, it's a bit more tacky. Yeah. Yeah. Um, just you don't want the glue to go everywhere but I no. think that's a good idea I do think that's a good idea so you can see here how beautiful this looks when it's cut out I'll just lay it on top of this purple and um, so if you simply want to make five by five cards and um, what you can do here is just use the paper pad because each side has um, a beautiful pattern on the other on the alternative side you can just place this over the top and you'll have a beautiful finished sample but what I want to do is do something a little bit different give you some more inspiration on what else you can do with these dies so Stacy you are fantastic at designing these dies you have created um, a die here that you can cut into so easily um, which gives you a lot more versatility for using these um, which you do with all your dies because you are just I think it's because you're a crafter you know because you're a crafter 
you know that people are going to want to do more than what the dyes are meant to do, if that makes sense. Yeah, more than... I, I try and give you as well as me because I, I've taken these home and how to play with them as well. Um, but I try and give as many options as possible so you're not just buying a die set and you can only do one thing with it. Um, I try and do it so then you can create totally different cards every time for different themes, for different shapes, for different sizes. Um, and I also try and get as much detail in as possible, which yeah. can sometimes be problematic because I send it over um, to our supplier, all the artwork, and I always get told, nope, you've put too much detail in, you need to take some out. So you know, as a customer, that you are getting the most detail that we could put in because we always have to because take Stacey some out. Because Stacey has to take some out. <laughs> But no, they are so easy to cut around and especially with these ones, you've kind of got the guide where you've got that um, really nice geometric pattern which runs throughout the whole of the die set. They are all different, but you've got some lovely deep geometric patterns um, in the backgrounds here um, and then those beautiful sort of frames um, in the centre. So I've just finished and I'm very, very close to cutting this out now. Um, so this is changing my square card into sort of like a round um, frame topper. Um, so if, and then we're gonna put this onto our card blank. So there is really so much scope and room for creativity, which is what I absolutely love about card making as a whole. So I've taken um, two pieces from our paper pad. We've got this lovely one with um, beautiful little flowery details. And then we've got this really nice blue, which is a little bit lighter than the blue that is used on this top section. Um, but if I put this straight onto here, you've got a lot of flowers there and we wanna break that up. So let's take um, this off here and we'll stick this onto the center of our card and then we want to get some more foam pads if we can get the right size I want some strips so Here's while well. you are doing your foam pad yeah um, Claire Edwards has said do a concertina box which will oh. hold shape no gluing <gasps> I now, feel like that's going to need a lot of um, practice those days. I, well, I'm, we've got we've got time. We've I'm got definitely time. determined to try and beat down at this. And if there are no rules as to what type of box you can make, no. But if you make a box that, yeah, there is then, no rules actually. Then I, I may very well look into this. Um, Thank you for that. I'm sure that somebody said something else. As that's well. a, a very a very good way. So. I think we're going to put two foam, strips of foam pads on because I just want to raise it up from that blue a little bit more. Um, and I'm not focusing my foam pads around the outside as much because we have that smaller square. Um, I don't have any small, smaller strip. Oh, I do. There you go. Let's keep going. That's a really good idea though. Concertina box. And you can do that on your scoreboard. You'll have to let us know. How, let us know. I might, I'm pretty sure I've got one of the books at home, but I might have to borrow one of the other books and maybe test out a few boxes. Yeah. Um, yeah. I definitely think that if you don't have to glue or stick it, you're going to save a lot of time. Well, yeah, because I'm not very good at taking the tape off. It, it just depends on what I'm doing, I think. Don't if I'm stress using... as well. I think that's a, a big thing. Don't yeah. stress about it. Stress about it. We're probably going to do something crazy. So then, now I've started to build that card up, I want to put the sentiment in the centre. So we have another upsell in this collection that I'm giving you a sneak peek of, peek of here. Um, this is our Matastic selection that goes, um, that's been designed to go with um, these dies. So let's run this through. This is such a large die cutting machine for this tiny sentiment. I'm gonna to have to get a small, a small little mini in here, or one of the goes. They're quite good. The new little goes. We'll have to request. Uh, we've had a question about the foam strip. I think. Yeah. Um, is it Nimi? I think your name is. Um, do the foam pads come in a strip? Yes. Yeah, so our foam pads come in lots of different sizes. 
Um, you can get them in, I think it's, I think it's 10 mil strips. Are you using the ones on the strip? Because you can get them in a roll, can't yeah, you? Yeah, you can get them in a roll. We do sell them in rolls. I've got them in strips here. These are, I think these are the two mil and five mil strips. Or we do a pack of um, 10 mil strips, which are really good. They're good for stuff like this because you, you get sort of more flexibility. But then if you don't want to use the strips, um, we've got all the, the squares and the, the rectangle foam pads, which also work really nicely. Um, but it's just down to personal preference, what you like to use. But... For this, I'm using the um, the small. I think it's the five mil strip. So the bigger, the bigger size on our um, selection. So let's pop out our little bits on our sentiment. I love the sentiments in this collection as well, Stace. They're very um, uplifting. Yeah, I think with. Um when I try and design sentiments for stamps and dies, I try and do something a bit different. So sometimes they can be quotes, sometimes they can be quite inspirational. Um, but we obviously also try and get in the, the general birthday, get well wishes. Um, but I try and get in as many as possible over as many collections as possible as well. So I think these are quite nice because they fit inside that, that aperture as well. Really, um, really nicely. But they're, they're still nice and delicate as well. Okay, so this one says, be wild and free. I'm going to pop this in the centre. Um, it's bringing that beautiful purple that you've got in those flowers and that background. Um, and just making it pop from that blue. Let's turn it around so you can get a good, a good look at that card. So um, you could have kept it with the frame on that we had before. But being able to cut into the dies um, gives it a different look. Um, you could have made this into a circle card. We did a card like that on Creating Craft on Wednesday. You can go back and watch that um, for more inspiration. Um, but let's have a look at all the individual items that are included in that bundle. Okay, so let's start with the die sets. We'll start with the Wild and Free. Yeah. Um, which is the one that, Nat, have you just used this one, Nat? Be Wild, Be Free, I have. Yeah. Um, so I don't... I come in a lot closer. Is that all right or not? Yeah. There we go. We can see now. So we just lift that up a little bit. So this um, is a five by five design. Um, you get if I turn it over, it might be easier. You get the outside cutting die as a separate die. You have the detail die, and then you have this sentiment in the centre. Um, and this um, focuses on a variation of flowers. So there's anemones and the anemones, yeah, anemones, anemones. Anemone, anemone, anemone. um, there's carnations in there, but they are all quite general flowers. So you can colour them whatever you'd like them to be. And then you obviously also have this lovely owl in flight. I do She's like just the absolutely owl. stunning. Looks like he's going to land, land on you. Okay, so the next set is Wonderful Wishes. Um, I'll try and get it in the right place for you. Um, again, it's five by five in size. You have the outside cutting die and then the inner detail die. So you have sort of like two corner arrangements with this one, um, which is lovely because then if you cut into it, you then just have that corner arrangement that you can add to all of your card projects, not just use them like this you could use them with any of the paper collections that we bring out and then you have that lovely um this side um the owl in flight again but just in a different pose so each one is totally different and then you have that lovely sentiment sending wonderful wishes which covers lots of different occasions as well so there's so many different variations with this and it covers lots of different type of Occasions, and occasions, teams. people as well, um, and I personally love owls, which is why I'm so excited for this launch. Um, but I know lots of people like, and I, I know that my granddad would probably love some of these as well. Yeah, my granny's gonna love these. Um, Mum already asked for because um, I got her uh, a Sizzix machine, um, and she asked for. 
um, these dies so she can use them. Um, so I'm sure that when my grandma has now just heard this, because she'll be watching, that gram that mum now has a Sizzix machine and can cut these dies out, she's going to be wanting these probably framed to go around the house actually. They are really nice just to and you could do just that. Just the cup, yeah, you and could, frame you them. You could frame them and have them like running up the hallway as home decor. Yeah. So this one in particular, um, let me see, Follow Your Heart, um, has another owl in flight, um, a little bit more elegant, I'd say, with this one. You have the wreath design, which you can obviously cut into. So you, if you don't want a square panel, you have that lovely wreath um, design that Natalie's just used and then round the edge you've got that lovely trellis lace pattern as well you've got follow your heart which again is a lovely sense it's really, really lots nice. of different occasions um, and again you have the outside cutting die the inside cutting die and then the sentiment as well on its own the nice thing about having this extra outside die as a separate die is that you can then if you are not particularly confident cutting out a five by five square. I know yeah. it seems really easy, but sometimes you just want to oh, quick yeah. run it through your machine and you've got a five by five square, which will fit underneath perfectly for your mat and layering. So it's just a lovely set. I also like the way that, you know, you've separated them there because you could have just done that in one die and had it as a whole cut out die, but that doesn't give you much scope for the size of cards that you can make. So because you have it's a cut-in die. You can put that on to say like a six by six or a seven by seven or even an eight by eight. Um, not necessarily even a square card. You could cut it into a five by seven and have like um, some imagery um, along the bottom. So having that extra die gives you the ability to make larger cards. It's just it's not just the small five by fives that you can make. Absolutely, yeah. Um, and it just gives you that different. Gives you a different card every time. Yeah. I. I for me, personally, as a crafter, I want to get the most out of my die cutting. If I'm going to spend the money on something like this, I want to be able to make different cards every single time um, and not just the same one. So this is why we design it the way we do. Um, and this, there, like you say, there is so much abil ability for you to be able to do this. I really like this one. This one's really, um, it's so, it's quite sombre, but in a really beautiful way. So this is possibly one of my favourites just because the owl is so beautiful with his head ducked down and um, obviously we've paired it with the thinking of you because it's just such a a nice pose to have on a, th on a sympathy card or yeah. a thinking of you card. You've got those corner um, floral dies as um, artwork as well so you've got all those cut in details so you, you know where you're colouring you can follow that guide um, if you didn't want to use the paper pad or cut all the background out and just have a corner die if you want to. And then you also have that lovely trellis pattern in the background as well. It that reminds, is that It's is quite my art favorite. deco that, isn't it? Yeah. It reminds, and it also kind of reminds me of tiles. The other thing about those, because you have all those cutting details, you can start cutting out individual flowers. Mm -hmm. You can start cutting out and decoupaging if you really wanted to. Um, but also, if you just quickly ink the whole sheet when it's cut, the ink will start seeping into those cut lines and you'll get this like two-tone yeah, colour just really by using good. one colour. Um, so it's just a, a, such a lovely set. It, it's possibly one of my favourites that we've done. It's very beautiful, it really is. Um, so I'm going to show you through the fantastic coordinating um, paper pad that you get um, included in this. So it is... Um, five by five in size, you get 48 sheets in here and they are all double sided. Um, so there's, because there's four dies, there's three different colour ways to have those dies in. So there's a beautiful pink, um, a really nice sort of like midnight blue um, and some nice brown tones as well. So we can show you through this now. So as you can see, you get the beautiful um, imagery. So this is like the brown, so like sort of, it's, it's kind of like a peachy orange brown um, but the colours are really really stunning so you're going to get that in three different colourways um, like I said all the different um, background papers have um, beautiful patterns on this is a really nice ditzy floral but it's quite vintagey 
you, on this one you've got a um, sort of like background sky so you could cut out your owls there and have them sort of flying across the sky then you've got the beautiful pink um, with the peaches and the really nice lemon yellow tones um, you've got a nice sort of um, this one kind of looks like birds flying around and then we've moved to our next um, section which is the beautiful wreath with that bird flying across um, again in those orange tones you've got the same in the blue but look how fantastic the um, background papers just coordinate so well with the imagery that you get on the other side so I would definitely be putting more than one of these in my basket um, but it's not just a die set that works with this paper pad you can use these dies with your um, prism mediums, you can use your inks, you can use your pens um, there's so much um, versatility so once you've got um, once you've used this pad you can do so much more with your dies but the colourways are really really pretty Alan's done a, a great job on this I love the colourways in this because there's some really nice pink um, tones but then there's also some quite masculine colours as well yes. so if you did want to send it to um, a male recipient it it's such a lovely floral card, but has that masculine feel as well. So I, I love all the tones in this. I it's mean, really some, nice. You go from really nice pastels all the way to the really dark blues. Yeah, and there's some really nice sort of like textured backgrounds as well. Like this one's um, green, but it's got some nice like little leaf foliage um, on the background. Another really nice floral one there. And then finally we have um, another beautiful green one which has like trees trees running across so um, yeah that is your paper pad is $8.99 um, if you just want to make cards cut these out and stick them onto a card blank um, you can make 48 cards there um, just by using this pad but um, the possibility to cut into these to lay them up to decoupage them um, is it's just endless what you can do with this collection um, so I would definitely if I could be putting another one of these in my basket um, what, when, what's next? Well, we did have a question. Okay. Um, does the paper pad come in the bundle? Yes, it yes, does. It so you get does. all four die sets and the paper pad um, for $53.95. Um, but as Natalie just said, I would add another extra paper pad into my basket. Just while they're in stock, because you never know, you might get through one, you might use what you get in your bundle, um, you use your paper pad and then be like, oh, I really wish I had the paper pad to make another one. Um, if you don't, you can colour them in, it's fine. Um, but yeah, while they're here and they are available, definitely add another one into your basket. Should we show the Mattastic and then do some card makes? Yes. Yeah? Cool. Okay, so the other thing that you definitely need to be adding to your basket definitely. is the Wise and Beautiful Mattastic selection. Can we go that way? That way. That way. Um, so these colours have all been picked and designed to work with your paper pad beautifully. So you have the pinks in there that you saw in the paper pad, you've got the browns, you've got those lovely greens. So again, I mean, even like autumn-y, winter, winter cards if you want to, it doesn't have to work with these dyes or paper pad. And you've got that nice pastel pink. This is like a cream, it looks a bit greeny on my on my screen, but it is, it's like a, a nice cream colour. You've got that pink, pinky purple, you've got the yellow, again that looks a little bit pale on, I really on like my screen, one. but it, it's like a It's like bit a, of a mustardy yellow, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, not quite mustard, it's got a hint of orange in it, but it, it's definitely, definitely yellow. Um, and then you've got that lovely blue as well. So it's not too dark as well, so you could stamp on that. Yeah, you definitely um, can. And still see all the design. So that is your pay that is your Mattastic selection. You get 30 sheets of adorable scorable. So you've got that property um, where you can score and fold without cracking. It's um it's uncoated, so you can stamp on it, you can ink on it, um, die cut through this, um, and you've got 10 colours and three of each for 9.99 so I'd definitely add that in especially if you're going to make bigger cards than the 5x5 five five. 
it's just a really nice base to add with your paper pad. So, should we have a look at some cards? Well, let's have a look at some cards and then we'll do another demo. Cool. So, cards if I don't break everything. Yeah. Um, I did say before the show that if it's not Natalie that's knocking stuff over, it's me. So I'm gonna apologize now if, if everything just goes wrong. So, can are we on this, this one? Is Aww. that all right? Um, so you, you can see how this square die has been cut down into the wreath and it's been put on a circular card blank. So I think, have they used the, um, did, I think you did this, didn't you? Did you make it using the nested dies? Yeah, our straight edge nesting dies, the largest circle in there. So this, and it has all that paper pad, it's got all that beautiful detail in, um, it's just such a lovely card. Another one um, made by Jane. So you can see how that has cut into the card and then made into an aperture with that paper pad in the background as well. And then created like little embellishments as well with the florals. It's very pretty, that one. I love this one. They're, very, they're just so creative, just ways in which you can do just really nice um, so, cards with them. So it's just this panel has just been raised ever so slightly from the background, which means that you get that lovely shadow in the background mm -hmm. um, and it just lifts it, it really makes it pop. Um, and then she's used the embossing folder in the background just to add a bit of texture. A, another card that's been cut into a circular shape, but then made into a stepper card. Not a stepper card. Easel. Easel card. It's Friday. Look at it's me been name. a very long Look at me week. Getting my names right. No more. I know. No clue. And then you can see that this owl has been cut um, into its own little, own little embellishment and then decoupaged. It's, I, I can't tell you how much I love this, and I need to stop saying I love this. I love this. This uh, our lovely Rachel has made again, lifting that that background up so you've got that shadow effect. I'll try and go through them quickly. Um, another cute little card. So again, making a smaller card with this. So we've come down from that five by five and I'm gonna guess a six. You are correct. With this one. Oh, I'm doing well today. Uh, another rounded one. And then it's got this that- This one pops up actually. Yeah, it's got that acetate in it. Oh, so good. So you, you can see through, which is so lovely. And then you've got that corner, which acts as the um, little stopper. Uh, so and creative, then these examples. The, this one is actually one of mine, um, which I did with the stamps. So I stamped it onto the die cuts um, and then cut around the individual flowers and laid it up. So you've, you've got that layering going on. You're giving a sneak peek here of what's to come, Stace. I know. I know. We are terrible. Um, again, stamps onto the die cut. So I've, I've cut, used the um, detail die into a card blank, then cut again and coloured it in with the stamps and then created that lovely shadow in the, in the centre. Uh, another one from Barbara, which is lovely because it almost looks um, embossed on there. It does, doesn't it? Because she stuck it straight onto the um, brown craft card. And then it, the yeah, corners really nice kind of effect. blend in as well. It, mm. It's lovely. And then Very that pretty. lovely stamp in the centre. So you can see when we look at the stamps, how those stamps will fit within your dies perfectly. Right, and I'll try and rush through some of these so we can I get like to I like this one. To A nice demos. example of how you can make some really big cards. Yeah. So, we, you know, we're always trying to think of ways of creating larger cards um another stamp one really i think you did you do this on tv i did see i watch Thanks. i pay attention i think you did that one i did do that one uh, i embossing one really simple on tv two more and then i'm done i'll shut up and we'll go to natalie Lovely card. You're getting a great pile of cards oh, there, Steve. I know. I'll do this. 
Oh, that way. Other no, way. we'll go. <laughs> we'll get there. Right, I'm done. I'll shut up. Over to you, Natalie. Nice. <laughs> Oh, that was a good that was a good card showing them. I did appreciate that. So next up, I'm going to show you how you can use the Matastic with the paper pad um, and make a totally different size card. So we've gone for um, an eight by four here. And this is going to be really quick because um, this is all prep for TV when you have to make a card in like five seconds. So we're going to be able to whiz through this one. So I've got that roasted coffee um, Matastic, which is included in that selection. Um, and that is eight by four, so that's going to fit um, perfectly on there. Um, when I make cards like this, I do prefer eight by fours to DLs, mainly because I'm better um, working in inches than I am in the centimeters. So we can stick that straight onto our card blank, making sure it's not wonky. And then what I've done here, because you have the ability to do this, is using the paper pad um, and that fantastic green, um, you can see if I lift it up, it's got really nice sort of petals, like little leaf flowers on there. Um, but I've joined it here. So I've put two sheets together and then I've cut it down. And this is, um, I think I've cut this to um, two notches below um, four by eight. So two notches below four by eight for this panel. I've just got really excited again about my dinner oh, because <laughs> Tracy Williams has just said, sorry I'm late, been shopping and got my McDonald's <gasps> breakfast. So I am now really excited and very hungry again. I hope it comes on time. <laughs> and then to go on top of this, I've cut a piece of the cream magnolia matastic. And let's just give you the correct measurements for that. That is seven by three, which gives you a large section where you can see that beautiful green background on there. It's so pretty and we're going to um, just raise this up slightly. We're going to use our foam pad strips. So we can put that onto here. So Lynn Parry says, I find DL a bit long. I totally agree with you with this because I was making some stamp cards at the weekend and I was trying to get, I challenged myself to make a card in lots of different sizes. So I came to DL, it absolutely terrified me, I'm not gonna lie. You're like, nope. I'm I was done. like, I don't know what to do with this. I think I sat there for about half an hour and then eventually I came up with an idea and out of all the cards I made, it was my favorite card. So get get on the DL, the DL challenge yourself thing. to do something different. I like, I love a DL. I think they're really, really good size. So. Then um, I've cut out the elements using my die and I've cut around the edges. So then this gives us really nice corner pieces that we can lay on top of here um, like so. So I get this is going to be, this is probably going to be the fastest demo ever done on Hunky Dory TV. Well, any demos quicker than Dan, so you're <laughs> all right. Thanks, Stace. No props. Let's hope he's not watching. Well, I hope he's not watching because then he'll know what I'm like planning for my box. Oh yeah. oh yeah. In case you missed the beginning of the show, I am planned to do the box making challenge at some point next week. Um, so if you have any tips, um, any any sneaky shortcuts, um, because needs to I know. need to win it for the girls. We did. She does. She um, really does. So let me know. She has to win it for us gals. So you can see there how I've layered them up again using foam pads so you've got that dimension um, onto my DL but it just adds that and it brings the whole, all the colourways that I've used, it brings them all together and you've got that really central uh, vocal point there where we're going to layer up our sentiments. So I've used um, the green from our Matastic and the brown and I'm just going to see which way, I think probably the other way is going to look best. So putting the green onto the brown so you get that really nice um, shadow on there. So I need, why have I put that glue? Some glue again. I'm going to just put a little bit on my hand and move it around a bit so it's not super, um, there's not going to be loads that I pick up when I do this. Elaine says, ask Dan, he knows all the shortcuts. Oh. <laughs> 
He does. He does he's indeed. Trying. He has probably sat there planning how he's going to sabotage me, which slightly, slightly worries me, but I feel like I maybe need to come up with, with my own little plan. Stace, we'll be, you'll be fine. You'll be fine. When are you doing this? Is it Friday? I'm hoping it's Friday, yeah. Yeah, because then that gives me all week to practice. Yeah, you've got a whole week. And I mean, you're working from home next week as well, aren't you? I'm working from home Tuesday to Thursday, so what I might do is just not do any work and just practice. That's what I was thinking. Um, it's, hopefully it's, Dan's it not watching. Um, so if you are watching, I will definitely do some work. Um, and not just sit and make boxes all day. I, yeah, um, but if you are not watching, I'll definitely be practicing. <laughs> <laughs> so I've cut, I've probably cut that too short actually. Let's just see if I can get a full size one on there because I've laid it up, um, my two sentiments. Um, when you do this, it allows you a lot more space on the back for sticking things um, because all the little um, like elements from your words are sort of um, covered up with the other color so I can get um, the smallest foam pad strip. I can stick that the whole side on there and I, it's, it's not a problem. You can't see it on the other edge. So let's just, I need to trim that down and then stick that there. Um, and I, I could have just stuck this down, but I just wanted to raise it up to give it a bit more height Oh no, it's all going wrong. Are you trying to stick on tiny foam pads there? Yeah. <laughs> Why not make it even more <sighs> harder than it has to be? So we've stuck our tiny, tiny foam pads, which are just the same, the strips that you get. Um, I haven't cut them down at all. I did at first, but then it was too small. Um, and then we're gonna stick this in that center. It says thinking of you and then I'm going to add a few of our pearly gemstones so we've got um, the beautiful sort of like sepia tones um, in our pearls so you get a really nice selection um, of colours here but this sort of like caramel colour works perfectly with this shade of from your paper pad um, and then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to I'm just going to place them randomly just randomly on here just to give it a little bit of love. Let's put another one here. Um, and I think the colours for this card, especially because it is that thinking of you card, possibly a card that you'd send at a really difficult time, um, it's quite a nice colourway. Oh, I've got my. Oops, is this going to stick? There we go. I'll put another one here. Just randomly add these on, but it's just going to add a little nice um, touch to your to your finished card. I'll put this here, move everything out of the way. Um, and you can see how you've created a totally different um, card shape there than what you would get when you when you originally get your dies home. So that is um, just some more inspiration for how you can use these dies. Now I'm very excited for the next bit because I get to show you the fantastic stamp collection um, which Stacey has designed to go wonderfully well with these. So let's, I'll show you the first two. So you can buy these stamps all together um, but that I'll show you them in twos because the boards fit perfectly then. So this is the first one, which way? Um, you, we have he a hello note and feathered dreams. So you can see there, you get in those large floral elements, you get in the, the owls that you see included in the die set. Um, and the way that these have been designed is that the flowers are exactly two size with your die sets. So you can cut out your dies from craft card, from watercolor card. Then you can put your dies, um, stick them to your stamping press, or if you like to use acrylic blocks, put them down on the surface and then stamp these stamps on top of your dies and they're going to cr create you a base um, and an outline for your colouring. Um, the sentiments are all different from what you see in the die sets which gives you more versatility um, across the whole collection um, but they're absolutely stunning and you know what 
they're absolutely beautiful to use on their own, to use without the stamps, uh, with, to use without the dies, um, they are absolutely beautiful. And then I'm going to show you the next two. So the next two are Memories Forever and Another Year Wiser. Again, you've got those beautiful corners um, with your floral elements on there. You've got the owls, you've got some little added sentiments, which are really nice. So the flowers, um, which are great for building up backgrounds. Um, and then again, you've got another two fantastic sentiments to use alongside there. So if you want to buy the whole collection, it's an incredible, incredible price. It's £20 for all four stamp sets, which they, I, they'd be going it's in my basket. It's an amazing basket. price. They would be going in my basket. Um, they're absolutely amazing. And once you've used your paper pad, once you've used um, all the bits of pieces in there, you're going to be able to um, use these alongside the dies um, for forever, really, because they're tools and they're going to last a really long time as long as you look after them and don't um, lose any tiny stamps um, like I do on a daily basis. Absolutely. I opened a new, this is, this is truth, I opened a new stamp set yesterday because Stacey's designed some more stamps for next month. <laughs> um, I opened a new one to test it. They have little alphabet letters and I spent 20 minutes trying to find the O. <laughs> 20 <laughs> minutes. So be very careful with your little bits because yeah, they do go me. missing. But 20 pounds for this full collection is absolutely incredible. I'm gonna show you them individually and I'll show you some cards that um, have been made with them as well um, before we get into another demo. Um, so this one here is absolutely stunning. I'm hoping that I'm going to show you the right cards here. We no, actually had a comment one. earlier, I can't remember who said it, but asked, what do you do with the dies once you've used the pad? They and did this is, say this that. this is perfect. Okay, so you can get these all individually. Are they eight, eight pounds? Eight pounds or, or three, three for two? two. So you've got them all individually here. I'll show you them like this, and then I'll show you some cards because... I can't pick out the cards that go with each one. So all individually, all amazing, A6 in size, so they're gonna fit in with your stashes. Um, they're absolutely incredible, perfect for watercoloring, and they look beautiful like that. Let's get into some card makes. I love this one. This one is wonderful. This one was made by, um, I want to say Barbara, but it might have been Jane. It's Jane or Barbara. The name isn't on it, but I'm trying to guess from the writing. Let's see if I can find another card. That's a lovely background. I think background. it's Jane. Jane made this one. Um, but it's beautiful, isn't it? You've got that beautiful watercolour wash with the embossed feathers throughout the outside. And then she's cut, um, stamped and cut that beautiful fr uh, frame. And put it on like an angle, which I really like. Yeah, it's... In the pad, it's, it's, it's the right way up. But on the angle, it looks really, really pretty. Um, this is a fantastic example of how you can use your pad with your stamps and those dies. So what Rachel's done here is she's used that beautiful, um, she's just stamped it directly onto the pad. So she's taken one of the examples from the pad, stamped onto it, cut it out four times and laid it up and then put it onto some parchment which gives you that beautiful um, background. And then when you close that up, you can see the stamped background behind it. But so pretty, absolutely stunning. And then this is one of my favourites. Um, maybe our, by our very talented Stacey. So this shows off that absolutely fantastic stamp um, and how you can use it without your dies. Um, you can just cut that out, make it into a beautiful aperture. I like how it's on the side. It kind of looks like a moon as well. Very, very pretty. Um, cat has made this beautiful card. I really like these. They are all absolutely stunning. There's not one card that I haven't been like, wow, that's incredible. On craft cards, why not emboss and then use our pencils to color your craft card in? Because remember, craft card and our black matastic actually works wonderful um, for coloring um, onto with our pencils. This one's super simple, but I love it. You've got that fantastic moon. You've got the owl flying throughout and then the wonderful sentiment in there as well. Um, this one, I also adore. Um, Jane's done this. She's created a really nice washy background and then just stamped onto it and then used her dies to make that 
sort of step section that you can see there. Such a fantastic use of the dies and using your nesting dies. I absolutely love that. Another stunning card made by Stacy. Stamping it out and then cutting it and making little element sections. How beautiful does that look? Stacy, you are one talented lady. Oh, thanks, Nat. Very, very. I wish I had your brain sometimes. This is starting to sound a little bit like Sheila and Alan's show the other day. Did you watch that? I didn't watch that, we were no. Very flirty. Were they? Yeah. Um, yeah. Well, you ordered me my McDonald's, so that's, that's why. Saved me from my falafel. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. It's so simple, just having the um, flowers in the background on that little banner there absolutely beautiful we've got some fantastic examples of ways in which you can color it into your own themes as well so this one's really bright you've got some really nice oranges and sort of purples in here um, i love the way that barbara's colored in that owl it looks amazing and it's oh sorry it's um layered up there so you can see how the little note really looks like a little piece of paper kind of looks like a what's the owl from hogwarts called it's like Hedwig. It's like Hedwig's just flying across with a note. This would be perfect for any, any Harry Potter fans. Perfect, wouldn't it? Um, and then finally, we've got this one made by Rachel. This is a beautiful card with some fantastic colouring. Um, I love how she's kept the background plain as well to make it a little bit different. So let's jump into a demo straight away because I want to show you a really nice way of using um, these stamps. So let me just need to get my bit. Let me get my stamping press. Here we go. I've got my 6x6 card and I've got my stamp. I'm going to use, I think this one is called Feathered Dreams. I'm going to take that big element. We're going to place our piece of cardstock onto, this is a card blank, piece, our card blank onto our board. I'm going to make sure that it's lining up with my sections and then I'm going to place this so it looks like a smile on the edge of my card here and we're going to stamp this out I'm using um, I'm going to use my memento ink because I'm going to colour this in with my alcohol markers can I just say as well you're using the stamping press we had a comment just a minute ago from Caroline I am to say, so glad I have crafting to take my mind off MS, but have started to have handshakes on and off. Um, I know exactly how you feel because I sometimes get tremors. Um, Natalie see me when I'm like this. Um, and the stamping press has changed my life. Um, with acrylic box, I think the pressure of holding it, sometimes I would shake and I'd always knock it off a little bit. But the stamping press, is amazing it so is. if you haven't got one please it's invest in one when incredible. they come back in stock so you can see here that i've got that beautiful image stamped perfectly um first time with my stamping press because that's the beauty of it now what i want to do is i want to turn this into an aperture so i have a piece here that i this is where it the blue peter magic happens mm -hmm. because i was going to do it on telly i have a piece here and what i've done is i fussy cut um, around the edge of that top bit here which is going to allow me if I take my straight edge nesting dies to pop my die I don't think I wanted this one I wanted the it may have been the second or the third one let's just get that die out let's take that second one see if it's the second one yes it is so it's going to allow me to put the second die in your set Going to allow me to have this under here i'm just going to bring it down so that the spacing at the top matches the spacing at the bottom and we'll stick that on and run it through our die cutting machine you're so clever thanks i don't know what we're going there to do a, without you there is a feet, brain you know. in here you know somewhere <laughs> amongst all the junk and the the planning and the bits and pieces that I've got in my head, there is there is a brain in here. It's quite funny when we get new products um, because we both get excited and we both have 
different ideas and then we're sort of telling each other and we're getting more and more excited as we're telling each other these ideas. We are um, terrible sometimes. It aren't is we? quite funny. Um, we do have to calm down calm a little down. bit. Calm down. Okay, so I've run this through my machine. And because I've popped, I uh, made that sort of gap and popped it through on my machine. When I lift this up now, just being careful not to mark my card blank. Where's my cookie tool? Let's just lift this up. Oh, my nails are too long. I've done my holiday nails already in the too long stays. <laughs> too long for crafting. <laughs> Can't I've just got up. back into doing my nails I and um, I'm dreading trying to take them off. I, I hate taking them off. It just is such a slow process and I'm not patient with it at all. No, I, I like... Have patience for a lot of things, but just not that. Um, so yeah, it'll be an interesting weekend. Okay, got that off now. And then we can slide that die out and you have a stunning aperture absolutely beautiful so then what we're going to do is we're going to take our stamping press again i need the base i fold my cardstock down and place it where i want it to be um, i'm going to take my stamp which says let your dreams be your wings take my stamp place my stamp in the center and once it's in the center and where i want it I'm going to fold that back, put my magnets in place, oh, and then I'll get my ink again. You can use Versafine for this, because um, we're not going to be colouring it over, but I'm just going to, because it's here, I'm going to use that memento again. Um, I think for sentiments though, I do like to use Versafine, because it is really great at giving you super super clean um, sentiments. So let's move that stamping press out of the way and we can get on with colouring this. So I'm using, I'm not going to use a lot of colours um, but I am going to use my alcohol markers. So let me just bring the colours in that I'm going to use. Let's go for that nice yellow colour um, and I think we have to have red don't we? Yeah, go for red because I'm terrible at picking out my pinks. There's so many varieties of pinks that I don't know what colour is what, but reds, I can pick out the reds straight away. Okay, so we've got one 414, which is a really nice um, light green colour. We're going to do that on all of our leaves. So this is where I get really quiet because I'm concentrating so much. <laughs> Stacey, Should I do like, some comments? Yeah, let's see some comments. Let's what are people comments. saying? Um, Has anyone got any sneaky tricks for you? Well, everybody's loving your cards and ideas. Um, lots of people loving the stamping press as well. Um, we Just lots of people saying con the concertina card. Um, so I definitely need to try and learn, yeah, how, to to learn how to do that. how to do that. Because I don't, I don't think you'll be expecting that either. No, you won't. Which will just be really funny. He won't expect that. And I would love every minute of it. Yeah, if you can just throw stuff at him and he's like, what? What is going on here? You will he, have to tune in on your holidays just for that. Friday, I'm, I'm at, we're back, so I will be, um, I'll make sure I'm awake by that time because I, um, I like to be lazy when I'm off, but I'll make sure I'm awake just to see his face. When you whack out the concertina box and everyone's like, what? What? This isn't right. So then I'm going in with um, 429, which is a really dark green. And I'm just adding that to the bottom of my leaves. And then I'm going to go over with the green again, the light green, the 414. Um, and that's just going to allow those colours um, to blend quite nicely. So just going over where it joins up. And that's going to blend those two colours together. Uh, Caroline says, fantastic device, thank you ladies. I can see a large list forming for the back in stock items. 
yes there is a lot i think there's going to be a fantastic back in stock show when all this stuff is back in the country so definitely um get ready to tune in here so i'm going in with my um 520 into this big flower here and i'm using the chisel tip because i want to get the um color all over um that flower which is great that you have the bow both ends because you've got obviously the smaller end for the more detailed work and then you've got the bigger one for that so let's do this one in red too uh, while you're colouring that could yeah. you answer a question i'll try um what is the difference between the ink pads for the different markers okay so um, when you're colouring with, with the craft markers they are an alcohol based marker so you need a water based is that right? Yeah. You yeah, it's the opposite. You need a water-based um, ink pad because if I added um, alcohol marker to an alcohol-based ink or a permanent-based ink, my lines are just going to bleed out. Whereas if I use um, a water-based one, they don't mix. Um, the same with our pens or other pens. If I was colouring with our um, brush markers, they're water-based. So if I use my VersaFact, fine because that's no that's right if I use my memento with my craft markers then it's going to leave like a bleed um so you don't want that and it just allow it just gives you a cleaner a nicer um finish i think the only thing that i found is when you use versafine make sure that it's dry before you start coloring um i yeah. i'm not very patient again with my waiting time no when you brush um, in it can so when you stamp, just give it a couple of minutes to dry. Otherwise, when you go in with your colours, it will just pick up a little bit of black pigment. So top tip. So again, I've used the darker colour, which is 538. Um, and I've gone over those flowers and then I'm going back over with the lighter colour um, to help blend the two colours in together. And then let's do, let's do these ones yellow. So this is a really light yellow. Um, Probably a bit too light actually, um, but it's not, it's okay. It's more of a creamy yellow. Um, and then I'm going to go in with my, and um, this is 405, 405, and you can see how that yellow's coming out a lot more now. So I'm just going to go around sort of like those frilly edges of this flower um, to bring the, the colour out onto them. And then again, we'll just blend it back in by going over with that lighter colour and then you know what I'm going to go for? I'm going to go for an orange. I love an orange. So I'm going to go for the peachy colour which you get in that 517 and we'll just go all over on here. I'm just making sure that I'm not getting onto that yellow that I've just coloured in. So around all of those edges and then we can use. Any top tips for your pens? Because I, I don't, I tend to use the brush markers of the alcohol. Um, when you're using the alcohol markers, I would suggest um, you can go onto our website um, and you can download a colour chart because um, our alcohol markers, there's so many different colours in them and you don't necessarily have to use different ones to blend them in. You can, let, you can let one dry and then bring that over again and it'll add more colour. Um, but I recommend using, getting a colour chart um, and filling it out with all the different colours because then you can see visually which colours will mix really nicely with what um, the different... Um, colours um, and then what ones you can blend together um, be patient definitely be patient because um, it can take quite a while um, to colour in with these pens but I think it's worth it because the results in the end are absolutely stunning the colours you get with your alcohol markers are really really vibrant um, but yeah definitely recommend getting that um, chart together because then you can see what colours go with what. So let's just colour this um, frilly bit in with our green and then 
These are normally like a purple colour, aren't they, these little bits that we've got coming off? To be honest, I need to do the colour chart just for my brush markers because every single card I make, mm -hmm. I have a piece of card and I test the, the colour and then I throw it away and then I make another card and it might use the exact same colours but I still use an, a new piece of card and oh test gosh. the colours again. And I just, every time I do it, I think I really just need to download the colour chart, fill it in and then I wouldn't need to waste this time and the paper every single time. Do you have the books, Stace? Because you can get the colour charts in the books as well. I think I have um, a few of the books, yeah. Um, but for some reason, I just have to test it every single time. And I don't know why, yeah, I just do. Yeah, you do have to just test it. So then I've taken my, I've moved on to my little owl that I had cut out here. Um, and I'm just going along his wings and sort of in that sh shadowy area, which you can you can kind of tell where that is because of the markings from the stamp. So we follow those lines, just go around his face a little bit and then the bottom of his back. And then, I'm, so that was warm gray three. And I'm gonna go in with the WG1, which is a warm gray one. Um, and this is like a more, creamy colour so let's blend that really nicely into that darker grey sort of pull the colour out when you're mixing those two colours together so go from the dark to the light and then back in over the edge and that'll give you that sort of seamless um, blend that you um, really kind of want when you're using your alcohol markers so we can the, the the other good thing about having the paper pad as well is that when, if you have the stamps, you can use the paper pad as a colouring guide. Yes, you so can. you can see where all the shading is. You can copy it. Um, so it's it's always nice to maybe keep one of the sheets, um, just so then you can you can see the shading within that. So then I'm not sure where I'm going to put this. So I'm going to leave it really quite plain because um, I like how striking the colour is. Um, when you see that and then I think I'll have my um, my owl just coming off there so if I put a bit on his wing here and then oh we cut this to be quite tiny we can stick that bit on the other wing I think you've just set up a new challenge of what is the smallest foam pad you can cut? <laughs> and take the backing off. Yeah, and you've got to be able to take the backing off. And then we'll add him just flying in over that sentiment. I might just pull him down a little bit if I can. There we go. So he's just sort of sitting on that sentiment there. Um, and that is um, how you can use these stamps. Um, to create some really, really beautiful cards. You definitely um, can use these on their own if you are a stamper and you just love the artwork in here. You don't need to get the dies, but the dies and the stamps, um, like you've seen on some of the examples, work phenomenal together. And um, so Stace, yeah. I think it's time to announce some winners. The Winner Weekly winners? Yes. I'm so excited. I'm even more excited for Spin the Wheel. Oh. Me too, I hope it's a good one. Okay, so if you answered that question correctly, these are this week's winners. Okay, so I'm, I'm rubbish with names, but I'm gonna give it a go. It's Jill, Linda, Barbara, Marjorie, and Kathleen. Congratulations, you have won that glue gun and the glue sticks, which is a fabulous prize, absolutely amazing. Prize. The amount of stuff that you can do with that. Um, when you get it, please show us what, what you do with it yeah. as well. Um, we always love to see what you make. Um, and I think, do they just drop a message? Yeah, just direct message to yeah. Facebook page. Uh, so do a direct message and we'll get those out to you as soon as possible. And then, can we do a spin the wheel now? Yeah, let's yes. do it. Get the wheel out, okay. get ready. I'll let's try not to break things. The wheel. Uh, Okay, I am, I'm really, really hoping for a good prize this week. I am really, I'm, I'm, yes, come on Stace. 
Okay. Do a good Are one. Are we ready? Are we ready? So ready. I feel like I need to warm up. <laughs> okay. I don't think that was very good. Spin it again. Spin it again, Stace. He's not here. Spin it again. Is that a better one? That's a good prize. That is a very good prize. I'm not. I'm not gonna lie. I can't read it. The prison. I'm getting old. <laughs> prison brush markers. Yeah. Oh, oh. Okay. Prison Ooh. brush markers. Good. That's prize, really isn't good. It? Really that is good really good. Um, so I'm gonna move this before I break something or just take myself out. Um, so if you would like to win that um, fabulous prize, um, comment, 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 comment. Comment anything, what you're having for your dinner, where are the Mackies? Yay! Really hoping it's going to be out there when we finish. Um, anything, what's the weather? Um, tell us what um, what I can do to beat Dan next week. Yeah. Uh, any ideas whatsoever? Um, go, 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 go. Comment, um, comment, comment, comment. But lots comment. of people. Spin, spin, spin. Um, Nikki, go, Stacey. I tried. Sorry, it wasn't the rollover. Um, we'll we'll get there. Um, the oh, who got? There were so many comments. I'm struggling to read them. Keep them coming in. Um, spin the wheel. I would love to win some brush markers from Lisa. Um, another fab show. If you thank got, you. If you got these stamps as well, or if you're going to order these stamps because they're on a great price, and you win these brush markers. And what a good like little bundle you're gonna get home. I know. Well, all of my cards that I did with the stamps yeah. are either the brush markers or the watercolour pencils. Yeah. Um, just because I don't have all the pen, the alcohol but just, markers at home. They, they are really, really good. And if you're into like calligraphy as well, you can do some really good calligraphy projects with your brush markers. You can do so much with the brush markers. So much. Because you have that fine liner as well. Yes. I absolutely love like fine liner detail uh, print. So. When they first came out, I was yeah, like, I have to do this. And um, we, I did like a rainbow mandala using all the fine liners. Love it. So, I remember if that. you have it was them, epic. please, please send me pictures of what you've done with brush markers because they are my ultimate favourite. Okay. Do so we have a winner? I'll have to spin my spinny wheel. Spin the spinny wheel. Whilst I'm doing that, do you want to announce the TV schedule? Yes. Do you um, want to do that? I'll do that, yeah. So, um, we've, got a, we've got a little break in our TV schedule, which is um, really nice to have a little tiny week off. Um, so we are back on Creating Craft this coming Friday, Friday the 28th of August at um, 7.30 for a two-hour launch with Sheila um, and our stunning Rose Quartz Dreams paper craft collection. Um, next Facebook Live. It's going to be Monday the 24th of August with Sheila and Dan. He's back. He will be back um, from his holly holidays. Um, I'm sure he's got a lovely tan, um, which he'll show you and probably tell you about all the crazy things that he did while he was away. Um, so that's next Monday. Um, and it's going to be quite a special show because it's going to be the start of our Members Week deals. So if you're in the club, um, it's going to be one for you to watch. If you're not in the club, you can just go online and um, apply to be in the club and you're going to get some fantastic offers um, next week. So make sure that you tune in for that. Got one, Emily? Yeah, it's Jenny Holdsworth. Oh, congratulations. Congratulations, Jenny. Um, those brush markers will be coming out to you. If you, again, just give us a direct message with your details and we will send those out to you. Um, straight after this show um, we're going to add another product to the rollover box because um, you know no one's won it which was quite sad about oh. but brush markers sorry guys good prize. I'll try again next very time. good prize um, so this is our essential Miri Max I had to get it because I just love looking at the rainbow I know when it's like goes across the screen as well I it know. just looks amazing so yes that's going in the rollover box and I think we have talked enough for today I unless know, you think, have anything else I think we've talked your ears off um, we're going to go and enjoy dinner um, at yeah. 11 o'clock <laughs> and have an absolutely amazing Friday, a lovely weekend. Uh, thank you for me. 
Thank you for me. Have a lovely holiday, Nat. Thanks. I'm going to enjoy it. Okay. I'll see you in September. Bye, guys.